Sunday, it's six o'clock and the pubs are closed. That means we can all have tea here at Jukebox Jury. I think um, we'll be using this cassette to look at the videos of the week, so let's plop that into the machine. There were a lot of complaints um, about me kicking the machine. That's only because it doesn't work. Uh, from now on, I shall be just gently tapping it to start it. Let's then get on with introducing those guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be ready. Please begin the vortex of music and love they call Jukebox Jury by welcoming Factory Records Supremo, TV presenter, all-round good bloke, Mr. Anthony Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> They're booing. They're booing. You notice that? Thank you. They're not. They're cheering. She may well be Sammy Rogers on Brookside, but to us, she will always be Rachel Lindsay. <laughs> arguably, arguably one of the best groups in Manchester. Happy Mondays. And we have from them, Sean Ryder, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And sitting nearest to me, I'm very pleased to see the British showbiz legend, oh. Barbara Windsor, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh cool! Oh. So, the jury are all set, they've been <laughs> nobbled by me, and off we go with Paul McCartney. <laughs> Well, Paul McCartney in birthday. Um, where should we begin? Uh, Anthony. I was, I was praying you wouldn't do that. Um, I like the shot of the guy eating the cake, which kind of looks like the kind of party that Paul McCartney probably goes to. And um, <laughs> I, I bought a very expensive jacket about three months ago. And first of all, no one liked it. No one I knew liked it, but I still liked it. You liked it. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> well, only Sean liked it, which is bad news. And then McCartney was getting off a plane at Liverpool Airport and Linda Eastman got off behind him wearing the same jacket. So I can't wear that jacket anymore, so I'm just very upset about things in general like that. And I don't like that for that reason. It seems a bit of a funny old reason for not liking it. I think you have to have a bit of a better reason. I think that. it's thoroughly valid, actually. Thoroughly valid reason. It was originally from the White Album, Beatles' White Album, I think. Eh? Should have stayed there. Oh, well. Mm. Mm. Now, Rachel, Rachel, from Liverpool. You're, you're... Yes. I think I'll talk about the song and not my wardrobe. Um, the song itself was mad. The video was full of fun. It should go really down well at parties. It was great. It was a laugh. When you say mad, you mean just sort of mad party? Yeah, it should just go down well. Everyone can get up and dance and just have a laugh. There was nothing serious to it. It was great. Very good. Do you, uh, Sean? Well, it sounds like... His kids have been played in the White Album again and feeding him little pills. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I really. I like it. You know what I mean? It sounds good. It's like the old Macca. I like it. Well, Barbara. Well, that's what I was going to say. Is I like Paul when he's rocking. I don't like all that ebony and ivy stuff. I hated all that. Mm. And, uh, oh, am I on my own? Because I can't, you know. No, I love him like this. Although I didn't like the birthday cake and all that part of the video. It got in the way. I liked it when we were seeing the band because it brings back all those memories to me. We're the same age group, you see. Did you, did you ever meet any Beatles? Of course I did. I was in a World Command show with the, the Beatles, and they were the, the, it was their big year, and they all, all had to bring out famous ladies on stage, and I got John. Cool. Yeah. Best one, wasn't it? <laughs> there you go. Well, I think in that case... Speaking yes. of betting, it'll be a number one for Christmas. I mean, there's like yes. a whole thing going around. So if you're going to ask us now, the ridiculous question is, is it hit or a miss? Uh, Is that what you're going to ask us? Well, I think you... Now, be fair. I think you knew that before you came on. You must have had an inkling <laughs> that I was going to ask you that question. It's not going to be a shock, is it? But I'm going to ask it anyway. <laughs> yes, and the point is, well, you, you, you might not like a record, or you might like a record, but it is really... Is it going to get into the top 30? I think that's what we're asking. Get in the top 30, Joe. And it... Oh. This is oh. wishful... No, 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 it's not. No, sorry. sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, charity yeah. of spirit, for goodness no, sake. He's a, ni a nice man. All right, there we are then. So, we've got a complete and we've got a new sound for hit this week, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's have that new sound and welcome in the first hit of the show. There we are. So, let's have Nelson, who are the twin sons of the late Ricky Nelson, with love and affection. Here she comes. Like 
there we are. Bit of a reaction from the audience. Moderate. Um, so, Nelson, love and affection. Uh, very American sounding record. Sean, did you, uh, you just got back from America. What did yeah. you make of that? Well, they both looked like you could both give me a good wabosh. <laughs> what, what, and I don't find it that offensive. The guitar is nice at the beginning. But I mean, it's the sort of thing that if you're driving about in a car, you wouldn't turn it off on the stereo. But I wouldn't buy it, but it's, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not good, it's not bad, it's just okay. How did you find America when you were there? Very nice. You liked it? Oh, ah. And what was that, <laughs> what was that word you used earlier? Wabosh, Jules. And what's that? What, and? Nosh. Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Barbara. Oh. <laughs> well, what do you think? I mean, I do love beautiful people, and they're beautiful. You think natural, oh. <laughs> natural blondes, do you think? Absolutely. <laughs> of course, their, their dad was the really natural successor, was he, to Elvis, and it's sadly, yeah. 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 But, uh, I love them because they seem to care about their music as well, all that enthusiasm. And uh, I just thought they were absolutely fantastic. I, I, I wish they was on. <laughs> I'm hoping. Oh, well, well. <laughs> just thought they were wonderful. Big it, that will be. Right, there we are. Anthony. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I really like them. I mean, I think, are they Geffen? They, I mean, I think they broke in the States about two months ago. They had a huge number one hit there. Yeah, they did, and they've broken in the States. It's funny, their label in America sees them as a pop group. They don't see them as a long-term rock act. I mean, I just find every time, I don't particularly like metal, I don't particularly like those things, but every time an interesting sort of um, short circuit is played on it, be it the Guns N' Roses approach, be it that Birmingham group whose name I forget, or this lot, you know, two pretty looking white boys with long white hair, I like it. I think it works. Rachel. Yeah, they were a bit of all right, weren't they? <laughs> is that what it is? Sex? Is that what they're No, what they're not at all. Um, I thought the vocals were great. Um, lovely song, lovely tune. I think that type of song would go better down in America than England. Mm. But I'd vote it a hit. I thought it was great. Well, in that case, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, please cast your votes on whether it's a hit. Oh, Goodness fun. me. A unanimous hit, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> For the twin sons of Ricky Nelson, which means the I forgot to do the train. I'll just bring the train forward a little bit there. Get, taking it to the Bridge of Love there. Got some um, smarties in the back. And I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased and gratified that you voted that a hit. Because, and you'll be particularly pleased about this, Barbara, they are the mystery guests of this wedding. <laughs> Jules Holland. Nice to meet How you. How are you? Pleasure. Yeah. Everybody. Oh, we can get the audience. Hello. How are you? No, no other mystery guest has ever gone under the bridge of love, but I'd like you to. Thank Free you. stuff. Free, Free stuff, stuff, stuff for everybody. We figured that everybody is going to be the jury. They just give, give, give. Okay, and this is for you guys. Okay, you, you oh, oh, no. It's, it's not. You can't get it yet. That's can't get it. Typical Americans. They're very gentle. Beware of strangers bearing gifts, right? Is that the painting? This is the painting that Glenn Medeiros last week didn't want, but I'd like you to take a look at it. All right. Well, we're close. We live in California, but actually, um, we really were a fan of the show. But we were in our hotel room last week, and we watched what you did to poor Glenn. And since he really didn't say anything, <laughs> I figured that we kind of, for his sake, owe you something. <laughs> okay, we're done. Thank you, Glenn. Well, 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 I hope, Sorry, I hope you look better without you. Go. Well, that's very kind of you. Do give the picture to him, won't you? And, I sure uh, will. Thank you. And give him our best. And thank you for all the lovely gifts. Isn't that nice to see? Why yeah. not? <laughs> Cheers. Best gift. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Where's the painting? Where's the painting? Where's the painting? Where's the door? There's the door. Okay. The I'm calling you. There we are. There we go. Cheers. Thanks very much, then, Nelson, ladies and gentlemen. Aren't they professionals? Aren't they professionals? American performers. They are, they oh, they're always professional. They, they are, aren't they? They didn't fall over or anything, No, none they? of that. Must warn me next time. Must I'm what? at that funny age. Can't take all that, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> so then, let's move along with, and I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this. this is, is it St. Etienne? Etienne. St. Etienne. St. Etienne, yeah. Football team. Yes. And a group now, you know. I can
There we are. Kiss and make up. Um, Anthony, I'll come to you first because you had, of course, you made a hit in the order of the football. Do you think this will make football fashionable again in music? No, no, no. I think, I mean, I think they, they chose the name Saint Etienne because of the, the kind of the football culture connection to the culture that's connected with. I mean, this is, I take it, she's got a list of the what's on, I don't know what's on the show, but this is like, this is like the modern music portion of this show. I like it a lot. I, I mean, uh, I'm bound to, really, I suppose, because of my espoused beliefs, but I think it's, I think it's delightful. I believe the group have difficulty getting off their ass to sort things out with promoting themselves, but if they just actually get themselves sorted, it should do very well, I hope. Mm. I hope the group are listening to that as well. And uh, I, thought the, I thought the video was very innocent, delightfully innocent, and I love innocence. And I like, I like a bit of advice being given oh, out, and I like the advice. Uh, I think it's on one of our mates' labels, Sean. Oh, sir. Sure. All your credibility's gone, mate. I know, I know, I know. I know. It doesn't, that isn't why we're saying we like it. He's a friend of ours, Sean. Sure. All right. Rachel. Yeah, I agree with Tony about the video. It did have that sort of innocence about it, which was great. The song itself is really moody, slow, nice. It's the best, I think, up to now. I liked it. Well, the best song on the show so far? The best song on the show so far? I think so, yeah. Smoochy. Smoochy. Did you, was, uh, well, I like it, yeah, but if it's on one of our stable mates labels, then I don't think it'll be in it. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like it. Barbara. Well, it's funny, because when we heard it the first time, mm. I, we weren't sure. I, I heard it, this is the third time. I'm sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. But it's just, I love it now. Mm. I do, I really think that's smashing. Yeah. Like that. I, I, I love yeah, it. We didn't like it before. You just said it's we? very moody. Well, it's it's moody, good, yeah. yeah. It's really moody. It's great. Lovely. A grubber, we could say. Yeah, I'd, I'd love that to get in. Anyway, please vote on that then. Not sure, but I'm willing that. Yeah. Well, will it? Yeah, will it? Yeah, That's will it. Yeah. Well, I really want that. I've yeah. never come across such a lovely, generous jury in all my life. No. Um, it is a unanimous hit, ladies and gentlemen. Which means that the train of enormous love, oh, Struth, the train of enormous love seems to have come unhitched from the. Um, Right, well, obviously, we'll have to get somebody in from maintenance while the next video is playing <laughs> to get it hooked up back with the uh, thing there. There we are. That's showbiz. And this is Vixen. Only a fool believes it's better to have loved alone. What do you say? <laughs> Vixen, there we are. Love is a killer. And I should just explain again, because we have to fit so many videos in, we can't get through to the end. But at the end of that one, there's a chauffeur, and he kills the old man in the video and goes off with the young girl. I just want to tell you that, in case you were worried about what happened to her. I certainly was. Um, Rachel. I thought that was fantastic. I thought the song was so powerful. And, like, there was so much character and story to the video. And what a voice that girl had. It was brilliant. I liked it. Now, there's, there's a lot of talk about uh, sexism in, in heavy metal music. Yeah. And do you think they were... Uh, being sexist in the way they were putting the girl across Not at them. all. No, they were having a go. Yeah. Women should. Should get Actually, up and have she, a go. She looked like she was in drag a bit, that singer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, th I think it was the old man, wasn't yeah. it? That's the one I fancied. But not taken away. Wonderful. I'm oh, sorry. So sorry. Sean? No. I just, I just didn't like it, man. It's, it's okay. Good, you know, it's, it's a bit down, that's all. It's a bit Valium, you know what I mean? It's just mm. a bit down. What about the what about the video? What did you make of that with the gold? No, it oh, sent me on in real bummer jewels. Oh dear. <laughs> he comes out with all these <laughs> oh, I love it, yeah. Great. It's nice to see a girl group. You know, we don't see them very often. And uh, I love it, like what you were saying, it's a great story. I love videos with stories. And a superb voice. Ooh, must be wonderful to be able to sing like that. Yeah, they did have a nice voice. Anthony. <laughs> it's too early in the evening to say what I thought about that, really. Um, I think I fancied the bass player, but she's only in the video for two seconds. She looked really nice, but the rest of it, I can, I can take heart, if you know what I'm saying. I can take heart, you understand it? But this is too, too much. What's in too much in what way? Um, too crass, too appalling, too ridiculous, too stupid, too pointless. It's funny how the men feel that way and the women feel totally different. Yeah. It is odd, isn't yeah. it? Did you I think like it was the originals? Like the originals. You, didn't you didn't think, it was, you didn't think it was a sexist image? I like the originals. I thought, I thought the bass player looked sexy, but I got two seconds of her. That was, my, that was the whole deal. All I'm saying is that I love the originals, 
And the original idea of putting, a, putting women into a heavy metal group and dressing them like that, it, is it Heart or whatever that other lot were? It was a few years ago. And that was fine when that started. Yeah, like Led Zeppelin. Like Led Zeppelin. <laughs> That's it. You know, yeah. Exactly. What about bring back Led Zeppelin? For me, I know whether they were women or whether they were men. It didn't bother me. I liked the song and I liked the video. And that's what we were here to judge, I that thought, certainly not is. whether they were it's women or men. It's a large or world with many different opinions. Yeah, that's uh, true. It certainly, and, I've, and in a funny Some way, of them are right and some of them are wrong. Yeah, I like a large world of many different opinions, and I like to think it's embodied in this little model railway. <laughs> <I've got laughs> that's railway. why I have it there. It's a great railway. Thanks. Well, been, we've been watching. Thanks very much. Well, would you like to make that a hit or a miss? And I'd just like yeah. to say this, that if you make it a hit, the train has been put back on by professionals, and uh, it's got some smarties on there, and it could uh, zoom up to you. So there we go. Is it a hit or a miss, ladies and gentlemen? Is it going to get that top 30 or not? Oh! Sex wars, sex wars. <laughs> Undecided, iffy diffy. <laughs> Can't get that motor started, so let's. <laughs> Undecided, so we then turn to the ugly mob. We've got a jury of three, <laughs> and they're going to decide. Was that Vixen record a hit? Have you got. Yes, it. A complete miss. We can move along. There we are, candy slip and space. I wonder, we just had a, let's have an initial gut reaction from the crowd. Did you like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, all right, all right. Mix, mix is all I, all I can say. That. Um, Sean, let me start with you. What did, did, did I believe they, uh, they had a hit with Strawberry Field, didn't they? Yeah. Um, did you like them? Well, I thought what they did with Strawberry Fields was pretty good. You know what I mean? I thought they did a good job with Strawberry Fields, and they're still young lads, and I think they can do a lot better than that. You know what I mean? I mean, what, what I heard there, I did like, you know, it was okay. I wouldn't turn it off on the radio if I was listening it on Simon Bates' show, I'd like it. I think, yeah, it's okay. You know, it's a good tune, but I think you can do a lot better. Barbara. Let's try harder. But yeah. Well, you remind me of a young piece of noon. You know, it's and not bad. <laughs> yeah, Herman in his Excuse me, Herman. I'm going to take the easy that. way out. You'll hear a single gunshot behind yeah, the locked toilet door. I liked it. It was a silly video. I quite liked it. Yeah, it was nice. But I don't think it'd be a hit. Oh, I thought you said I remember.